Good noon all my dear students. I am your Dr. Ananya Lakshmi Sandeep. I am here to continue with types of screening. In the pre previous class you have studied what is screening, what are the differences between screening test and diagnostic test and what are the different uses of screening. So in today's class we will learn what are the types of screening. So there are few types of screening. First one is mass screening, high risk screening, multi-purpose screening and multi-phasic screening. Along with these four words, you might have heard two other words in the previous class that is presumptive screening and prospective screening. Presumptive screening was done for case detection and prospective screening was the name given when you do screening for the control of disease. So in today's class, we will learn what is mass screening, what is high risk screening, what is multipurpose screening and what is multiphasic screening. So mass screening, application of screening test to large unselected population is called as mass screening. So the speciality of this screening is that everyone in the group is screened for a particular disease. For example, you take your uh, spigma manometer, go to Ujire and you will subject everybody whoever is available uh, for BP checkup. So this is an example for mass screening. There is no particular criteria. Instead you are just going there and there is a large unselected group of population and everyone in the group is screened for a particular disease. This is called as mass screening. Now let me quote few examples for mass screening. Visual defects in all school children. You know that there are few uh, yojanas. Uh, those uh, yojanas which concentrate on health examination in school children. So for example, Suvarna Arogya Chetana Karakrama, they say like that. So the, if in case we uh, take an ophthalmologist with us and screen for the each and every child in the hospital, irrespective of their age, sex and uh, their eye status, whether they have refractive error or not, whether they are wearing spectacles or not, you keep checking their eye problems, then it means that it is a type of mass screening, visual defects in all school children. Second example, mammography in women. We all know that this mammography is a screening test to detect breast cancer. If you are applying this mammography to each and every woman in a particular place or uh, area, then this can be considered as a mass screening. One more example. If you are doing colonoscopy for occult blood collection, again this is an example for mass screening. So here there is no particular criteria, there is a large unselected group of population, each and everyone in the group is screened. So I hope you understood what is mass screening. Now let me tell you the second type which is called as high risk screening. It has been also called as selective screening because you are selecting a group of people. There is a particular criteria to select this population or you can also call, this, call, it, as, call it as targeted screening. So the screening of selected high risk groups in the population is called as high risk screening or selective screening or targeted screening. I can give you a few examples for this. If you are screening the newborn of uh, sorry fetus, if you are screening the fetus for Down syndrome in a mother who already has a baby with Down syndrome, this is the best example for high risk screening. Why? Because the mother already had a disease with congenital issues or a 21st trisomy or Down syndrome. You know that it can happen to another child also in the family when she conceives for the second time. So when there is already a baby with Down syndrome and she is conceived for the second time, you are now screening the fetus for Down syndrome. This is the best example for high risk screening which is also called as selective screening or targeted screening. Then screening for familial cancers, hypertension and diabetes. One example if I have to give with regard to cancer is breast cancer. Think that someone's mother or grandmother uh, has got breast cancer and uh, the junior members in the family are 
tested for breast cancer. This is an example for high risk screening. Why? Because you know that breast cancer runs in the family. So if someone has got this in your family, you will be screened for it. So this is called as high risk screening. And you know that hypertension, diabetes is also having genetic distribution. It runs in the family. So if our father, mother, grandpa, grandmother, anybody has got this in our family, we would get screened for this. This is an example for high risk screening. Third thing, screening for cancer of cervix in lower socioeconomic status women. It is well known that lower socioeconomic status is more associated with carcinoma of the cervix. So when you know that there is association between these two factors, you are going to screen the women in lower socioeconomic status for cervical cancer using pap smear as a screening test. This is an example for high risk screening. One more example if I have to give, screening for HIV in risk groups. You know who are the risk group people. I hope you know what is bridge population, core population and general population with regard to HIV. If you are testing the people uh, who are in bridge population zone or core population zone, it would become uh, example for high risk screening when you are screening for HIV. So these are the few examples for high risk screening. Next one is multipurpose screening. What is this multipurpose screening? The screening of a population by more than one test done simultaneously to de detect more than one disease. See, it, you will have few materials at home which are multipurpose. Uh, like you may have some uh, cloth which can be used to uh, wear or which can be used as handkerchief like that. So one single thing is used for different other purposes. So here also screening of a population by more than one test done simultaneously to detect more than one disease. This is an example or this is what is multipurpose screening. So if I have to give example think that there is a pregnant woman and you want to screen her for HIV okay so where you will also make an opportunity of this uh, to also check for syphilis by doing VDRL you may also check for hepatitis B infection in the mother so simultaneously at once you will collect one blood sample but you are applying more than one test that is you are check checking for HIV you are checking for hepatitis B you are checking for syphilis in the pregnant woman so at one shot you are checking for more than one disease applying more than one test so this is what is multipurpose screening last one is multiphasic screening the screening in which various diagnostic procedures are employed during the same screening program so the best example is here there is only one disease but you are applying more test not the not one test for example you want to check for diabetes mellitus you will check fasting blood sugar and glucose tolerance test you are screening for sickle cell anemia you will check cbc and you will do hemoglobin electrophoresis if that is so it means that you are doing multiphasic screening you are doing uh, the test on for identification of single disease but you are applying more than one test for example for tb you do both montu test and chest x-ray and also sputum test so this becomes multi-phasic screening the difference between multi uh, multi-stage multi-purpose and multi Phasic is that multi-purpose means that one shot you are identifying more than one disease applying two or three tests. But in multi-stage means it's in or multi-phasic means it means that for one disease you are applying more than one test. So lastly the summary is there are four types of screening mass screening applied to large number of population high risk screening applied only to high risk groups multi-purpose screening one shot multiple diseases applying multiple tests multiphasic screening one disease more than one test is applied two more which are not written here are presumptive screening and prospective screening presumptive screening for case detection and prospective screening for control of diseases thank you